Hey everybody, I'm John. Heather's filming from our hodgepodge homestead here in Michigan. Uh, on Monday we butchered chickens. We showed a little bit of that. Well today I'm getting ready to wipe them off. They've been soaking in ice water for since Monday. Um, changed ice a couple times. Uh, it's worked out really good so far. I've done a few. First time I've done this. I got these bags um, from uh, Kevin and Sarah on Living Traditions Homestead. I've been watching them. We subscribe to them and they showed us how they do their chickens with these bags. So uh, Heather ordered some and uh, they're working out really good. You wanna get your water in a, a turkey fryer or I'm using a canning pot because my turkey fryer is uh, shot. Um, you wanna get your water between 190 and 200 degrees, 180 and 200 degrees. Uh, mine's sitting right about 195 right now. Uh, basically you wanna take your chicken out of where you've kept it. And uh, this is the first time I've only the second time I've ever done chickens all the way. Our whiz bang chicken plucker did wonderful. These are anywhere four, five, six pound birds. They they range in difference on how greedy they were at the at the feeder. But uh, you want to get them pretty dry. Uh, don't be shy with the paper towel. And I've got a clean surface here. I wiped it all down with you know bleach and all that, so it's good to go. Flies are a little bit of an issue, but who who doesn't have flies right now? Um, so you get it really dry, pat dry, get some of the water out of the cavity of the bird. Um, this is pretty good. When you start sticking to it, you know you're dry. You want to take your bird, put it in your bag, head side down, get the wings tucked in there. And this is probably the eighth or tenth bird I've done and I, I think a second pair of hands here would, would work pretty good. Now Jason on Cog Hill, they've got a little thing they use that, that they made it out of PVC and they hang the birds on it to dry and slip the bag right over top of them. Now with this kit comes a tube. You want to put this tube halfway down into the cavity of the bird. Kind of squeeze the air out. Give it a couple twists. They supply you with the twist ties. Take a twist tie. Not a twist tie, excuse me, a zip tie. Put it on about an inch, inch or so above the legs. And you want to take it in your water. Dunk it down in the water and instantly the air starts coming out. You want to soak it underwater completely for five seconds. I've been going six or seven or eight just because I'm making sure. But it's working. Pull it out. It shrinks around the bird. You pull the tube out. Pull that zip tie tight, and there you've got a bird in a shrink wrap bag. No water, no moisture, the bags don't rip, they don't tear. And uh, what a great way to store your bird till you're ready to use it. Uh, thanks again to Living Traditions Homestead for giving me this idea, and Jason at Cog Hill. Um, go to those guys on YouTube, they're really informational, real funny, mm -hmm. real good. And uh, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. My granddaughter will be happy I said that. I always forget.